بنا على كلاس وانا متر تي في وانا سالي فيك من بفيديو جديد. So you might be wondering on why you landed on this video. It's because you clicked on the title that says speaking Arabic expectations versus reality. That means you have been struggling to learn Arabic or you are in the process of taking the step to start your journey in learning Arabic. And I have to tell you, you are so lucky that you have found this video before it's too late. And you will know what I'm talking about in a minute. First, of course, intro. So now you want to take your first steps in learning um, Arabic or you have been fascinated about the Arabic language and now you were like, hmm, well, I think the lockdown is gonna stay for a bit. Well, let's, why not just learn a new language? Now, you probably have done some research online, probably not, but in this video, I'm gonna be putting a lot of information to you for you to know about what the heck learning Arabic is really about. So, in the Arabic language, we have two kinds of Arabic, actually three kinds. We have the modern standard Arabic, classical Arabic, and the spoken Arabic. Now, a lot of people say classical Arabic is just the same as the modern standard Arabic, so I'm gonna be telling you about the differences between the spoken Arabic and the modern standard Arabic. At first, the modern standard Arabic, which is also known as MSA. The modern standard Arabic is the official Arabic. It is the Arabic language. It is the Arabic that we learn in school. It is the Arabic that every Arab person born and raised in an Arab country have learned MSA. And if you didn't pass the exam in the MSA, well, either you gotta pay to go to the higher class or, you know, you have to do the test all over again. Now, the modern standard Arabic is the Arabic or the official language of the Holy Quran. And that is why a lot of people that are interested in converting to Islam or, you know, interested in the, uh, in the Islam culture, they want to learn the modern standard Arabic. Of course, we have another type of Arabic, which is the spoken Arabic. Now, the spoken Spoken Arabic is not taught in any language. Uh, uh, what? Now, the spoken Arabic is not taught in any school. Not a university, not a school. It is not an official thing to learn. The spoken Arabic is the Arabic that is spoken between locals. So, the language that I speak with my friends in Lebanon is the spoken Arabic language. In my case, it's the Lebanese Arabic dialect. Every Arab country has its own spoken Arabic dialect. For instance, Lebanon has a Lebanese spoken Arabic dialect. Syria, the Syrian Arabic dialect. Egypt, the Egyptian Arabic dialect, and so on. Now, the MSA and the spoken Arabic, you can say it's a little bit similar, but also at the same time, it's not. Well, the spoken Arabic is of course derived from the modern standard Arabic because the MSA is the official or the original official Arabic language. So the spoken Arabic dialects, all spoken Arabic dialects are derived from the MSA. But MSA is not spoken in any Arab country. That means it is not a spoken language. You will never go to any Arab country and see that two locals are speaking with each other in MSA. Or maybe it's Judgment Day, I don't know. Now, what are the pros and cons of MSA and also the spoken Arabic language? Well, let's start listing with the pros of the MSA. If you want to learn the official Arabic language, that means also the Arabic alphabet. Maybe you are fascinated about the Arabic culture, about the Arabic language about the language itself, the MSA, the modern standard one. Now, with the MSA, if you want to learn MSA, you can also read MSA. Now, what are the cons of the MSA? Now, the cons of the MSA also depending on the people who want to learn the Arabic language. Now, if you want to speak Arabic, then it's a huge con for you. Then MSA is not your language to go for. Pros of the spoken Arabic language, it, it is actually the spoken one. And it's also easier than the modern standard Arabic because it doesn't involve a lot of grammar you can just throw words out there and it will make sense because it is a spoken one and with a spoken one you're not following the exact same rules as the msa one now what is the con of the spoken arabic dialect it is not taught in any school or university or anywhere else until now which is why you have to wait until the end of the video or you have already seen it over here, the free spoken Arabic or the free Lebanese Arabic masterclass. You can join it in the description down below, but I'm also gonna be mentioning that at the end of the video. Now, which one do you actually need in your life? Also, like I said, it depends. I'm not trying, I'm not over here trying to deceive you. I'm not over here trying to, to undermine the MSA or the modern standard Arabic because, because actually it is my own, it, it is my language. So sometimes I get like, attacked by a lot of people like, hey man, it's not cool that 
which you are doing like talking about this like on MSA like for MSA man you do realize that it's it is my language and not yours right so thank you but I should be the one who is patriotic so it actually depends on what you need you want to learn the real Arabic language you want to want to you want to become a journalist you want to become I don't know something on the media you want to know how to read the Quran then MSA is the one for you now if you don't care about the MSA if you just want to know how to talk how to reconnect with your grandparents to reconnect with your roots maybe you have a spouse maybe you have a friend that you really value in your life maybe it is something to reconnect with your own culture because your parents or your grandparents migrated from Lebanon to another country this can be your case if that's your case then the spoken Arabic dialect is for you and if you want to get results now right now if you want to learn the spoken Arabic dialect in my case the Lebanese Arabic dialect then you can just head to the free masterclass that I'm offering the link is in is over here and also in the description down below you can just go over there your your own timing on when when do you want to attend this free masterclass and I'm gonna be over there and I'm gonna be talking to you over there so make sure to connect with me in the chat box and I'm gonna be revealing to you the four-step system that I've used to learn German and the same method that I have been using to teach my students the Lebanese Arabic dialect so now you don't have any excuses anymore that you are not finding any resources online for not learning the Lebanese Arabic dialect and it's for free so just head over there and let me know what you think about it this is it and thank you everyone for watching this video and also don't forget if you like this video just like share and also subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions make sure to send me a dm or an email or whatever it is or just put it in the chat box in this free master class again the link is in the description down below let me see you over there i'm gonna see you on the inside let's start your journey in learning the lebanese arabic dialect shall we i will see you guys in the next one peace